Me. Ryan Hamilton is performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson, but he would not come to Rochester if he could not be on Good Day Rochester, right? I mean, that, that would be... <laughs> that was a demand I had. I've been a longtime fan of the show from afar, from which a... I don't even know if it's possible, but... Oh, sure, yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. When you were growing up watching the internet, that, that we, where, we, where we were. You have such a happy face. Oh, thanks. And not only that, you have a special called... Happy face. That's right. Yeah. I say I look like this, but I don't really feel like this. I mean, the face <laughs> reflects something, but I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and go, that is inaccurate, uh, generally. Really? I oh. think, I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're but fine. But this is not, this is an exaggeration. Uh, happy face is the name of a, uh, is it Netflix? Is that yes. A, okay. All right. Where can, and actually, where can people see that? People I just said can that. see Netflix. it on Netflix. Netflix, what a story. They can see Netflix on Netflix. What is Netflix? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. Where do you live? Uh, I live in New York. But New you're York from? City. I'm from Idaho. Well, that's a little Yeah, smooth culture shock. transition. Smooth transition. Family still back in Idaho? They're still in Idaho. They don't know how to handle things here. Uh, they're worried about me constantly. Uh -huh. You know, my dad, if I'm ever on the phone with my dad, he says, where's your wallet? That's my dad's thing. <laughs> if I'm walking around the city, he's very concerned of the placement of, put your wallet in your front pocket. That's uh -huh. what he says. Do they come to visit? They Have come they... to visit, but I don't know how it plays out, a wallet in your front pocket. If I get held up, it's like, <laughs> I hope they don't come around. <laughs> this guy, what a rube, uh, you know? <laughs> he's got the wallet so, in the front pocket. <laughs> anyway, but yes, they come to visit and um, they love it, you know? It's great. It's it's, but it's a totally different world. I'm from a, ta a, a little farm town of a thousand people in right. southeast Idaho, and I never thought I'd end up in New York City. But that's how did I'm... you end up in comedy? What what drew you in? I just loved comedy from the beginning. I don't know. When I was very young, I loved watching comedy. There wasn't a comedy club within a day's drive of me. <laughs> it seemed like you know, I was very isolated out there in terms of. Uh, any sort of entertainment career. Yeah. But I just always wrote jokes. I loved watching it on TV. I wanted to be a newspaper columnist, a humor columnist, mm -hmm. when I was young. Yeah. And so I called the local newspaper. You can't do this in a lot of places, but I called the local newspaper when I was 14 years old and said, can I have a column? And they said, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> My name is Dave Barry, and yes. I would like to write a column uh, for you. Dave Barry is, I wanted to be Dave Barry. He, he was, he yes. is very funny. Yeah. Um, do you, you work clean, I'm told. Yeah. Is that harder or easy? And in other words, is it the harder way to go, do you think? I think there's great comedy all across the spectrum. I was just talking with this. I get the chance to open for Jerry Seinfeld Who also works clean. He works very clean. Yeah. And sometimes if you ask Jerry if he works clean, he goes, yes, I like to play hardball. That's what Jerry <laughs> says. <laughs> but I, I think there's, you know, there's great comedy across the whole spectrum, but I, it comes out that way for me. Yeah. That's just, I couldn't do it any other way. That's uh, natural. For What's me. it like to, to uh, so you aspire to be a comedian and the next thing you know, you're, you're working with Jerry Seinfeld. Well, I wouldn't say it was the next thing I know. Well, yeah, but I mean, okay, we're going to skip over all the this, hard stuff. I've been yeah. doing this quite, uh, long, longer than I can imagine do, uh, doing it, but uh, then I thought I would. But I love it, and it's great. Um, yeah, it was an amazing experience. It's a, it's a new thing. I've, you know, been doing this about, uh, I've known him for about a year mm -hmm. on the road. You know, maybe six months we've gone out a few times. But what a compliment to your work and to you that he thinks you're oh. worthy. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm flattered that I would have the opportunity, and he's great. He loves comedians, so he right. loves talking to comedians. He'll he takes do. them in cars and gets coffee <laughs> Exactly, <sometimes>. that's right. <laughs> what, what is it about stand-up comedy? I ask most of the comedians who, who come in, I'll, I'll ask them this question. What is it about the, is it the high you get from the live interaction? Is it the travel? Is it, what is it about the life that, that, that you love? It's the greatest thing because it's all of it. I love... Every, I love the creative process of coming up with the material. I like that every show is a little different. Mm. I love uh, the minimalism of it, that it's just you and a, and a microphone and a stage and an audience. And um, I, I do enjoy the travel. I like to get to meet people. I go to places that I normally wouldn't go right. and see things that I wouldn't normally see. And, and honing the craft, is a, it can be a painful process. How much yeah. failure do you have to endure to become a success? A lot. More yeah. than people understand. It takes so much time to create this material that people don't even realize. Uh, I have jokes in my special, I hate to admit this, but any comedian would not be surprised, that are 10 years old. Yeah. 
and um, and I have jokes in there that are six months old. Right. It was just kind of whatever is at that moment the best that I have. Your greatest hits. Yes, that's how it worked for me. But um, so I'm a fan of developing stuff over time and making it great. I, I'm told by someone who knows you that you have a kind of a random list of things you're obsessed with. <laughs> I think. Uh, I, we live in a world where we just have too much information and it's scary because I, I can get so, like, I'll wake up one day and I'll go, I know way too much about cast iron skillets and I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to get into things and I like things that are uh, well made and um, I'm working on an email list where I get this stuff out. My publicist has put this on it as a talking point. This is the person yeah, that you yeah. know, my yes, publicist. Yes, oh yeah. And, it was, um, yeah. Very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm a little obsessive. And I think it requires that personality is uh, a lot of comedians are that Pro way. You're I think you're probably right. about the material. All Never the thought time. of it, but now yeah. that you say it, it yeah. sounds right. Yeah. Also, your publicist, who's a good friend of mine, says that. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I'm what's, what's his or her name? Uh, Pam. Okay, She's Pam. She's a great friend yeah. of mine, too. Dear friend. What? You're, you're trying to cut back on sugar. Which is something I'm doing too. Are you? Yeah. Because it's I try. I try every day, and some days I'm successful, some days I'm not. But it's very difficult. I don't yeah. think you can do it anymore. Yeah. People say that they it's, gave up sugar. Everywhere. Yeah. But I think they have two problems. I think that they're still on sugar and they're dishonest. I think they're liars. <laughs> well, Ryan is Ryan is at the Comedy at the Carlson. Two shows tonight. Two shows tomorrow. And uh, thank you for coming thank in. Thank you. We appreciate really it. Nice appreciate meeting it. you, man. Thank you. Welcome nice to, to meet Rochester. You. Appreciate it. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Have a garbage plate while you're here. <laughs> Weather, traffic, local headlines coming up.